Yo, what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and go over some trading tip, not necessarily tips, but mostly talking about the market for the most part, not necessarily giving you any new methods. So we're gonna talk about what's gonna happen to the market. We're gonna talk about the web app and what's going on with it. And then we'll go over my update on my hunter trading method, as well as what's gonna happen with the race to division one videos. So uh, we're gonna go over everything in that video, starting off with what's gonna happen to the market tomorrow. Now, rumor has it there either may be a second inform Neymar or an inform Messi, or even both in tomorrow's team of the week. My guess is it's going to be one or the other. That's that's my guess. However, if they do both, hey, that's that's great as well. But here's the thing you guys need to know. If either of them come out, the market is going to go down a bit because people are going to open packs like crazy. They are going to go crazy opening packs, especially when there is a happy hour. So keep your eye out on that. For one, if you guys need to get rid of your players, you can go ahead and do so and buy them back tomorrow when the market goes down a little bit. It's not going to crash like crazy. It may get, might go down a little bit, but hey, if you buy and sell back, technically that's making coins if you really think about it. So keep that in mind. If you want to go through the hassle of listing your cards overnight, if you haven't gone to sleep yet, I know some of you guys are in the UK and in Europe, so you might not see this video in time. You may see it in the morning, but... In any case, my point is you can sell your, your current team and then rebuy it right after the team of the week comes out. Um, another thing you can do is you can start investing in players tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. They will probably go down quite a bit. Um, actually, maybe not maybe not quite a bit, but they'll go down a little bit from my from my knowledge and, and previous experience with, with Ultimate Team. This is usually what happens. Now, one thing, this year it's been really different. I don't know what it is, but but prices seem a little bit weird, a lot cheaper than they used to be. I've seen people list Ronaldo for a million, uh, the sec, the, um, I'm sorry, the inform Ronaldo for a million coins. I've seen Messi being sold for 700,000, which is much cheaper than last year. So there's a lot of different things going on and they could be a combination of a lot of things. One of them is ultimate team on FIFA has blown up. I mean, if you guys have been playing since FIFA 12 compared to FIFA 15, the amount of people who play FIFA now has grown exponentially. It's crazy. FIFA has blown up onto the scene. I remember in the States, Madden used to be the most popular sports game, but FIFA has taken over. And again, we're I'm, I'm in Chicago, so I'm in the States. Uh, for those of you guys in Europe, obviously, Madden probably no one plays. But you guys get what I'm saying. The actual game of FIFA, what regardless that American football is more popular here, People are actually playing FIFA more, which is crazy. Maybe it's it's got that more of a competitive scene now since the Madden Challenge kind of died out. But anyway, that's a different topic for a different video. Um, so yeah, so anyways, if there is a good team of the week, the market will go down a bit. If you want to go ahead and invest in players, you can. If you want to get rid of your team and rebuy it, you also can do that. Another great thing to be able to do tomorrow is to invest into consumables. Those are still going to be awesome. And I know a lot of you guys have been complaining that it's a little bit too competitive now. Well, that's going to get a little bit better since more people are going to be opening packs. And because of that, you're going to have a lot more of an opportunity, a much higher chance to go ahead to win um, consumables, specifically chemistry styles or position change cards. Now, I want to talk about investing in a potential team of the week player. I don't know who may be in the team of the week, um, but if you buy a player, if you if you just browse the forums and, and you kind of look at rumors, if you want to buy a player right before they announce the team of the week, they usually announce it one hour before it's actually in game. As soon as they announce it on Twitter or on Foothead or whatever, put your card up for auction, you'll be able to make a lot of coins. I had Rakitic guys, I bought them for 7,000, was able to sell them for 18,000 right before they released Team of the Week. So keep that in mind as well. Also, if you do want to invest in a player in this Team of the Week, you can. Um, there's not a huge selection. Obviously, Ronaldo is not a realistic option because he's very expensive. Milner is a terrible, terrible card to get, especially for an inform. Um, so Rakitic is reasonable. I think he's I think he's 50,000. I'm not 100% sure. I would check, but unfortunately, the web app is disabled, which is why I haven't been able to come out with a trading video. You guys know I love trading on the web app. It's a lot more convenient than on the console. But if you guys um if you guys want to see a trading video desperately, I guess. I shouldn't say desperately. I shouldn't say that's kind of rude of me. But you guys know what I mean. If you guys prefer seeing a trading video uh, over a race to division 1 video, I'll try to do one on the console. 
But a perfect segue, I want to talk about the web app. Now, at the beginning of the year, EA said the reason why the web app kept crashing and the reason why they couldn't put it back up is because of the bots that were constantly searching the market and there were auto buying cards and all these coin sellers were on the scene because of it. So they were going to take care of that. They were going to make sure they were going to clamp down and get rid of all of that stuff. One week into the game, web app, all of a sudden, transfer is not available. I mean, I don't know what's going on with EA. They said they were going to ban people that advertise coins. That hasn't happened. They said they were going to ban people who are going to buy coins. I have no clue if they have or not. I mean, if you guys know anyone who has bought coins, let me know. I don't. I haven't heard anybody getting suspended or getting a warning or anything like that. So it doesn't seem like they're doing that either. And I don't see uh, coin selling websites going out of business. So clearly, they're selling coins, and I'm guessing... I mean, I'm guessing they're doing it with an auto auto buyer. I don't know. I don't know how the coin selling websites make coins, but apparently it's still out there. So I'm hoping they really get their you know what together and fix this because it really affects the transfer market. All these bots and this and that, it affects transfer market so much because you can't pick up those deals that you're usually able to because you have to search for it manually. You know, it, it's, it's crazy about what's going on, but I really hope... Um, all of that stuff is is taken care of because I love using the web app. It's a great feature for Ultimate Team. And if it if it again is down for the majority of the year, it's going to be a bummer since I trade like crazy on the web app. Now, moving on to trading with Hunter cards, Hunter Chemistry style. You guys see a lot of them expired and I had bought maybe 60 plus. Actually, we can actually check how many I ended up buying. So if we go, oops, wrong. Uh, let's go to consumables going on here let's go to consumables chemistry style i have quite a bit of them actually guys i bought quite a bit of them all right so i have 32 left but if you go to my transfer list you'll see that there are a lot of them um that haven't sold now it's completely okay that they haven't sold because if you remember, if you saw my video where I was investing in them, I bought them no more than 3,700 coins and look how much they're selling for. This one sold for 5,000. This one sold for 6,100. This one for 7,000. This one for 7,000. This one for 7,000. Making almost double from what I'm buying it for, which is crazy. Awesome. Awesome stuff. That's, a, that's probably... I'm going to keep doing that for a while. That's a great, great way to trade. Now, you're probably saying, why? how in the world are they selling for 7,000 coins? Who is buying them? Think of it this way. Remember how I said you got to play mind games with people who are looking to buy, um, buy chemistry style cards? Look how many of them I'm listing at the same time. If I list every single one of these at the same time, if I list 40 Hunter cards at the same time, all for 7,000 coins, all of a sudden, if you're a player... And, and maybe a newer player and you're looking for a hunter card and you see, okay, okay, you're looking through pricing, oh, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. Oh, they must be going for 7,000, so I'm just going to buy this one. You know what I mean? That's what happens if you have so many of them and you just list them all at once. They eventually will sell. Now, are they not? They're not really selling at a rapid rate. But that doesn't matter to me. I can sit on them. They're not going down in value. So it, it benefits me regardless. If they sell, great. I'm making double my coins that I paid for them. So that's awesome. So that's a great way to go ahead and um, and trade is list all of your investments at the same time, especially if, if they're in the same player. You guys see I've also bought Miranda here. Um, and that's because I really think he's going to go up in price. He's one of the best La Liga center backs. I use him on one of my teams. Can I show you my team on here? Let me show you guys the teams I'm using. I use this one here, 4-1-2-1-2 with the two center midfielders. And then I use... Um, this 4-3-2-1 team that I've been actually struggling with both teams, to be honest, but the defense is really, really solid, really solid. Been happy with the defense. My attack obviously is also pretty good, but the problem is I can't maintain possession like I used to in the previous FIFAs, even though passing is a little bit better. I, I don't know what it is, guys. I am struggling quite a bit on this year's FIFA. I've, I've been hoping to get out a uh, Race of Division 1 episode for you guys with updated footage, but I haven't been able to purchase a new hard drive. It's much, and you guys are probably thinking, well, how are you recording this one? It's actually a lot less memory to record a desktop video than actual gameplay footage from the Xbox One. So that's why it's much easier releasing this videos for now. So once I, I'll probably pick up a hard drive tomorrow and start recording again, but I am, I think in Division 3 or 4 at the moment, 
I've been, man, I, like I said, this FIFA is tough for me. Very, very hard. Uh, a big reason, I mean, this is the paciest team I have and, and the paciest team I've ever used so far on FIFA 15, mo mainly because of Hazard, because he's got 80, 89 pace. Um, Balotelli with 82, Kandreva with 85. So this is the uh, fastest team I'm using, but everybody I come up against, especially in the higher divisions, once you get into Division 3 and onwards, every single person is using pace every single person is using pace and uh it's 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 really hard to to defend against so we'll we'll have to see what happens i don't know if they're gonna patch it or not but we're gonna have to um i i just don't i don't want to I, I don't like using players with pace you know and that's i mean what i'm what i mean by that is i don't like making a team around dubia because i just don't it's not fun for me you know i like using players that I like watching in real life or or enjoy playing with on the game. Um, but in any case, I'm kind of rambling now. So that's pretty much it for this video. I think we covered quite a bit of information. Um, if you do have questions, you can put it in the comment section below. The best way is to send me a tweet on Twitter. I will try to do a trading episode on the console if the web app isn't up and running soon. And I will do a Race to Division 1 episode as soon as I pick up a hard drive, most likely tomorrow, so I can record some gameplay footage. And you guys can see your boy Smarbs getting completely wrecked in Division 3. It has been a hard, hard time for me, guys. Very hard time. So we'll have to see how it goes. I hope you guys will enjoy that series. In any case, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It actually really helps me out. And I'll see you guys really, really soon.